Hey guys, welcome to day 160 of my carnivore journey. I hope you guys are having a good carnivore journey. Uh, if not, I need to hear about it. Let me know for sure. But um, again, thank, thank you to all the new uh, subs that's come in, the new people that's joined our family here recently. Again, a lot of great comments. Love you guys. You guys are so amazing. I try to tell you that every day because I really feel grateful uh, for all of your all support along this journey. Um, so what am I doing today? What's my update? Again, I had pizza again <laughs> because, you know, I still had like leftover pizza sauce, leftover mozzarella and pepperonis. So I decided to make a food video for you guys. That's right. So, um, so check it out. All right, so go check out that video. That's going to be um, what I did was I decided that I wanted to try like a different crust. And um, so I came across one from Carnivore Doctor. Um, I think it was, I think her name's Lisa Weidman, maybe. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. I, I'm, I'm just going off my memory real quick, but I, I know Carnivore Doctor. But she made this, I guess, pork kind of... Um, crust and it looked intriguing to me the way she did it the ingredients and i thought you know what if i made the crust but then i baked the stuff in the oven after that like in in the skillet to make it like this iron skillet pizza so i kind of took her crust my idea put it together and um if you want to know all about it go check out the video i made all right so i had I had a half of, of a pizza, half of that. Um, and I'm saving the other half for tomorrow. So I'll probably have that tomorrow. <laughs> a lot of pizza, but I'm trying to utilize my leftovers. You know, it's just me, me, me in the house. So, um, I still have my chuck roast in the fridge. I've got to get that out as well. I'll probably have that, um, Monday night, I guess I'll have the leftover chuck roast. But, um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get some of the, the, you know, things in the fridge used up, but I feel, I feel pretty good today. It was, it's a Saturday. I just accomplished some things around the house. I've been working on the website. Again, we're adding things almost daily to the website, the all Um, you guys know, I've been, I got, I've been wearing the shirt now around just, just trying to just trying to get it out there as much as possible. And I hope you guys are spreading the word as well. I know a bunch of you said you were going to be telling people and having them go there. And, and again, it's a great place. If you don't know what all carnivoreinfo.com is, please go check it out. This is where you're going to send all your friends, your family, the people that want to know about carnivore, you can send them here. And this is that major hub, major directory. Uh, it's going to have all your links recipes, uh, supplies. And if it's not on there, let me know what I'm missing and I'll get it on there. I mean, we're, we're, we're growing the site every day. Okay. I appreciate your guys' patience for my little spiel. Every time I talk about it now, I know you guys are probably, some of you regulars are probably getting tired of like, Oh God, here he's talking about the website again. I know, but it's, it's so important to our community. Uh, guys, I, we've got to keep spreading the word. I really appreciate Every, each and every one of you. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as um, potty, like bathroom wise, I did, I did go poop this morning and last night. And each one was a little mixed. So I'm doing all right. But, um, but I imagine once I probably get through this whole, pizza phase and get all that out of my fridge. And I start getting back to some one pound burgers and some of my regular stuff. I'm sure everything will be normal, but for the most part, everything is it's not too bad or anything. So I don't want you, anybody to panic. Um, other than that, I think I've been feeling pretty physical, um, like physically. Okay. So day 160 guys, um, we're approaching day 180. So, but I also wanted to remind you guys again, 
just like the last couple of days about temptation and you know the real world stuff and i wanted to remind you like look it it's it is tough man i i i'm living in a new town and i keep seeing things that my old mind would have been like hey i should try there i've never had that before or oh i heard a lot of good things about that and it's like those instant thoughts and then i even went to walmart uh the other day or yesterday, I mean, maybe not yesterday, but it was the other day. I forgot to tell you guys about it, but they had a bunch of food trucks, like exotic type sounding food trucks, you know? And I was like, Oh my God. And my instant thought was because I loved food trucks. It was like these little slivers of culture that, that people would bring to you. And you know, these, these Korean barbecue trucks or Indian trucks or, um, you know, these, the, you know, euros or whatever it was, but they had a variety of these. It was like almost like a little festival of food trucks in the front part of Walmart parking lot. And I was like, Oh my God, my initial reaction was like, Hey, and then of course there was the Monte carnivore. And that's the real challenge guys. That's the real challenge. Because I got excited over those food trucks and then I felt disappointed that I couldn't have any because I'm on carnivore. And I would love to say I had the perfect mentality and say, I'm on day 150, whatever. Screw you. I'm feeling great. But the reality is, <laughs> you know, my first instinct was to celebrate that I found these food trucks and then have that sort of sigh when I remembered carnivore diet. And again, this is where you have to be strong. This is where you have to actually say and think it out and say, I know, I know I'm on carnivore, but yes, I do feel a lot better. Those foods are going to make me feel like crap. And blah, blah, blah. I mean, you really have to talk to yourself. You have to. I'm telling you. That's the real struggles. And, and whenever I come across a real struggle out there, I try to point it out to you guys because you guys are going through those same struggles that I am. I guarantee it. Maybe you don't want to admit it. Again, a lot of us don't want to say those things. There's a lot of carnivore YouTubers that won't say it because they don't want any negativity, especially deep in. But it's not negative. It's not it's not negative. It's just reality, right? So I want you guys to like truly know whenever I have a struggle, what goes on in my head. That way you guys can hopefully take that same path and not give in. <laughs> you know. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I can't believe it's 160, man. Like we only we got 20 days left to to the to the six month mark, man. And that's gonna put it into chapter two. Chapter two, holy crap, another 90 days knocked out soon. So 160 days today, that is insane. Um, but time will tell, and we will see what the measurements and what the weigh-in is on day 180. All right, guys, uh, bye.